We have several applications that we developed to serve the needs of the Institute and uh, one of the big uh, initiatives that we had several years ago going back to 2002 is building a biospecimen management and tracking system. We called it BST at the time we deployed that into production uh, in 2003 and it's been in use since then. Um, the tissue resource and application score utilizes that system for their workflow for accessing and procuring tissue samples, dispersing them, they manage and collect all the data within that system. In this uh, last uh, year we had to redesign the system, we developed a new front end for it based on a newer technology using Adobe's Flash. We added some new improved efficiencies into the to the software to improve the workflow within the core facility and uh, improve the time that's spent on entering data. We, we evolved into developing multiple applications for the clinical research enterprise at HCI. We designed a new extensible and highly customizable model for clinical research and we call it CCR. It uh, stands for Cancer Clinical Research. The system encompasses all the multidisciplinary teams at the Cancer Institute and a few other teams within University of Utah Health Sciences that utilize our software. Like I said, the system is highly extensible and customizable to the specific needs of the individual groups. Lots of publications resulted from these two systems and grants were funded based on the data that was collected in these two systems. And then we've created another system about four or five years ago called Genomics, which is a genomic man uh, experiments management system and LIMS for our microarray next-gen sequencing facility. And that system basically manages all the uh, experiments that are entered and submitted to the microarray facility. It uh, tracks its progress, the experiments progress through the microarray facility, it performs the billing and then generates the files that will be later analyzed by the bioinformatics shared resource at the HCI. That genomic system is integrated with IT Biopath, so now we've, we've created a system that manages specimens, which is a sample-centric or specimen-centric system. We've created a system that manages patients, which is a patient-centric system and links their data to the specimens. And now we've created another system for genomic experiments that can be conducted on these specimens. So you can find genotypes, specific uh, uh, phenotypes related to these genotypes from, from having these three systems integrated together. So it's a highly integrated system within the university environment. One thing to do is to make sure that we are agnostic enough about the back-end technologies and creating the right hooks to, uh, to integrate with other universities or medical centers, electronic data warehouses, so to speak, so that some of that data can be pulled automatically. Other areas that the system to meet a bigger milestone would be the ability to pull an abstract data from free text surgical path reports utilizing high-level natural language processing tools. Now we've developed some of those tools ourselves or algorithms, but that's a very expensive art and I don't have enough resources to, de to dedicate towards that type of work and uh, not have the rest of HCI's mission suffering in terms of utilizing research informatics. What other needs might be necessary for this to be market ready is to convert our CCR system from using the front-end GUI interface in the previous technology that we converted the IT Biopath from which is using Flex and Genomics uses Flex as a GUI for the GUI interface. CCR is still in utilizing the old technology so a conversion of the CCR to utilize Flex would make that suite complete. The software would have the same look and feel across the three different products. The biggest need is to do an assessment of the software and the market. And if there is 
space for such a product suite to to exist and compete in the market. So electronic data capture is a big need for research. CCR already does that. Now there are clinical research or clinical trials management systems uh, out there. I should say these are a little different than our systems. Our systems uh, follow patients longitudinally. Uh, these patients may may not have been recruited on any clinical trials yet, but it's a longitudinal follow of uh, follow uh, of uh, of all the patients that are seen at a university or at a hospital. And then from that population, you can, you can decide whether you want to launch a clinical trial based on a specific uh, disease population that you want to study. So our systems could be used for that. The, the data that's associated with biospecimens, you know, biospecimen repositories is a big deal now across the country and across the world, really. A lot of people want to create these bio repositories. I think the University of Utah here has an initiative in creating a bio repository. Our system serves as a virtual system. It can be utilized as a SaaS software as a service. Uh, that would be CCR and IT Biopath. Uh, both of these systems are uh, have a multi-site capability in them where our security model allows for multiple institutions to coexist within the same database while maintaining their security and permissions and access to their own data separately from each other. So we have that capability within our system. The software can then function as a SaaS or as a, a product that you sell and install within these institutions. So there's two different models there that you can look at.